dangerous to record like this and face the wrong way while I'm going down the road. <laughs> yes it is. Welcome to another video. Tell you what, let me stop. Do you know what I've realised is when I'm wearing these glasses, I feel like I'm. Uh, I feel like I have to hold the camera this far away because they're so bloody big. All right, Sunday afternoon. You don't need to know that. All you need to know is there's a week to go until uh, British Nasters, Nasters Masters, British Masters Tri Championship. All right, I'm starting positive. I feel like crap, but I'm starting positive. I'm staying positive throughout this whole, whole week. This week's going to be positive. All right, because it has to be. Because what? what what happens if not? I'm just I'm just a whinging, moaning, middle-aged man with stupid pink glasses on, and a pink top on, and a pink top on. Is that a boob? Yeah, that's boob. This is not boob though. This is not saggy boob. It's pectoral muscle. That's my heart rate monitor. But you know when you wear your heart rate monitor and it tucks onto under your man boob, and it and it makes it all. You know what I'm talking about. So I should be resting today, but today's session is punishment for not doing my track session yesterday. I um, I was up all Friday night, didn't get any sleep. Not because I'm ill, just because the baby was up all night. Um, and I just didn't sleep very well, so um, it was a 7 a.m. track session, but I, I just couldn't do it, I just didn't have the energy. So um, today is punishment for that, and we're doing seated accelerations. Uh, yay! Positivity! So this is the road I'm using just here. Um, I'm starting down there and accelerating all the way up here. And then by about kind of here, we're at around 20 seconds, 25 seconds. And then I'm just driving it all the way up to that corner. So I don't know how long this, this actually is. Uh, but I'm covering this from a seated acceleration in around 25, 30 seconds. So the first set's done. I'm remaining positive. I, t I, t I said I was going to remain positive, but... The only way I can describe the way these feel at the minute is, is it feels like I'm poisoning my body. My, I presume I am, like lactic acid is a toxic um, substance that's generated through your muscles, I don't know. But it just feels like I'm poisoning my body, my whole body's just shutting down. I'm positive though, I'm happy about it. Um, so that's one set down. The good thing about the sets is they don't actually take too long to, um, to complete, so just a short break in between but by the time I've got to the last one I'm ready for a break so we've got a 10 minute break actually I've got a 30 second break before I have to go down and do it again so let's go Anna let's go join me on the other side probably the end actually because I don't have much energy to talk now so it's T minus two days <laughs> Two days to go until British Masters Track Nationals. Tuesday was an easy ride. I didn't record it because ideally what I wanted to do was get out in what I hoped was going to be this, but it ended up being an absolute of a day. It was. Um, it, it just rained. It just rained all day constantly. So rather than um, go out in the wet and risk injury and illness, I just went and did an, an hour on the turbo and, um, well, nothing to report. It was pretty standard. But tonight is... Um, is really a bit of a a kick out, a hit out. Um, according to my coach, I'm supposed to be feeling good by about now, uh, and I'm racing on CV Arcade tonight. So I'm not going to go full gas. I'm not going to push too hard, but I am going to go there, and I'm going to I'm just going to have a bit of a zest just to see how my legs are feeling. Um, but during the day right now, all I need to do is um, get the final preparations done for the for the bike. So this is what the bike currently looks like with um, with the standard Planet X deep section wheels in it. Um, they'll do the job fine. They'll be absolutely fine. However, the tyres, as you can see, are a little bit cracked, and I think they're a bit too uh, they're a bit too old. I think they could do a replacing. Um, but I've got a spare set of wheels. Well, a brand new set of wheels. Brand new to me, not brand new to. Not, not brand brand new, but they have hardly been used because Swifty never rides a track, so um, I'll stick them on now and have a, look, have a look, see what you think. So this is it with, and that is what it looks like with my new five-spoke Navigator wheels in it. So I've just finished on Cade. I've got to be quiet, I've got the kids in bed. I've just finished on Cade, finished second. Pushed probably a little bit more than I should have, um, so now I'm going to have a, a quick, I say ice bath, it's not, it's just freezing cold water, but it's it's bloody cold, so I'm gonna jump into this. Hopefully, it's gonna get all the crap out of my legs to uh, to help me recover. Then I'm gonna go and just chow down on some fodder. But I thought I'd bring you along for the experience of getting in this cold bath. 
day it's half past four. Oh man what a you, you, I can't exp if you work in an office you will know sitting at a desk staring at a screen is taxing work all right I'm not saying it's the hardest work in the world but it's taxing anyway it's half past four on Friday afternoon just finished my video I am going to pack my stuff for Newport I've not even thought about it all day so um I've got to make sure that I take everything, um, so I'm going to lay it all out now, and I'll take you through it. I'll show you what I'm. Uh, I'll show you what I'm taking. All right. So um, obviously, I've got my race wheels. I'm going to take the other wheels as well on the bike that's already there, just as a spare backup. Got a spare pair of shoes. I've got my Rocket Sevens there. Vest, gloves. Now I don't normally wear gloves on the track. However, the the bar tape that I've got on the bike, when my hands get sweaty. It just slips everywhere, so I'm going to wear them. Uh, I've got a spare skin suit. Um, I've got some, ooh, look at these. Rule 28 aerodynamic socks. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if that's just a mental thing or not. Um, the skin suit I went for, everyone flicked me on trying to get a skin suit. Um, so, I mean, I got in touch with Velotech, but they, they never got back in touch with me, so I'm obviously not big enough for them. Um, Karnak, this is the one I went for, $59.99 from Planet X. And um, the main reason I wanted it, and this is this is the sole reason I wanted it, this right here, a long sleeve skin suit. This one here is short sleeve, and I don't have any long sleeves, so I went for long That's This is, I literally paid 60 quid just so I can have long sleeves. Um, but it might make the difference, you never know. Time to pack this bad boy. I've not wore it for a, for a very long time, very long time. Gonna pack that, but I'm gonna take my other helmet as well, and then I'm gonna take. Uh, I might not take that, but I'm gonna take. Oh, I need some soothing gel, shave cream, post shave lotion, and moisturizer. I'm gonna take that because I'm gonna skin my legs tomorrow morning. All right, few bits of additional ting. Uh, my velo skin. I'm gonna take all that. I'm gonna just take it all because I can't bother to do it here, and I don't have time to do it here. I've got plenty of time tomorrow to do it. I've got my caffeine shots there. I've got some pro. Swifty gave me these. Uh, a box of protein 20 I don't know what they're like I'm going to take four of them four energy gels can't see me needing any more than that and these two bad boys here sodium bicarbonate sachets you know I love a bit of bicarb I'm all about the bicarb so not only am I going to take that but I'm also going to rub I'm going to rub this in my face and then drink the bicarb um, massage gel that I've got all right I'll admit I've done well up to now less than 24 hours to go and the nerves have only just kicked in all right I admit, I'm nervous. I don't know why. My head is my head is such a dangerous place for me to to be in. But why am I getting nervous when all really all I'm all I'm doing is going down and just having a little bit of fun on my bike. That's it. It's just fun. And if I can remember that, then I can, but I instantly think, yeah, but it's a competition. And this is the, it's in this moment that I know how competitive I am, but it's a competition. And what, what I've got is, 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 is a tool that could allow me to win. If things go my way, my, my sprint could help me win the race. It might not even come down to that. I might get kicked within the first five laps, which also makes me nervous. Good morning, it is race day. It's here. The day that I spoke about three, three months ago maybe, with Jimmy when we sat down and, and I said, I wanna target British Nationals. Now I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen. But 
I am going to enjoy the day and savour it and just enjoy racing. That's it. That's all I need to do. Go and enjoy the racing. Doesn't matter where I finish. Doesn't matter how. Doesn't matter how I perform. Does it? Yeah. No. It doesn't matter how I perform as long as I, I enjoy it. Now I've woke up today. I'm taking a massive sh and I'm feeling quite lean. I feel. I feel like last few days I've been a bit bloated, but I feel. I mean, I'm still not. Mm, but I feel mm, ish. So um, yeah, come and join me as I take you through a day of doing very little until racing, I guess. Um, but one thing I have to do is, um, and I've not done this for a long time, I'm gonna shave my legs. And I guess I guess while I'm doing it, shaving my legs, I should, um, I can give the Velo Skin um, products a review. So here is my impromptu review of Velo Skin. And one thing you need, it doesn't matter how good, it doesn't matter how good this shave cream is, if I don't have a sharp Razor ain't no good to anybody, so I have a brand new uh, Mac 3 blade. Best best razor there is in my eyes. Best razor there is. Started sharing with this when I was 13. Not this same blade, but started using this when I was 13. Phew, love it. Okay, I present to you one one right leg. So first we're gonna apply, I guess we do this first, shave cream, okay? It smells good. It smells most fresh and look it's quite a um, it looks like a quite a thick thick viscous um, cream so there we go I'm just rubbing that circular motions round and round the leg I don't know if to do a patch or wedge all this on and then take it all off I'm not I'm gonna be liberal with it because the last thing I want to do is cut my legs open definitely gonna be a bit liberal with it right here we go how skinny my leg looks here. Trust me, this is this is thick, thick hamstring and quad right here. Oh, it's like a knife through butter. Oh. There you go. Legs done. 10 second review on this Velo skin that I am not paid to say anything good about. Um, it's good, it's really good. Um, it's better to do it with your... I did one leg wet and one leg dry and it gets much thicker and, and it feels... Like the razor glides better when your legs dry so if i'm going to advise anything do it when it's dry but i have really really sensitive skin i don't know if this is made specifically for sensitive skin but normally when i shave and this is one of the reasons why i don't is because i've got like psoriasis and, and and sensitive skin it normally just goes bright red flares up cuts and just stings like hell however i've just finished shaving and it's probably the best it felt ever while i've been shaving partly down to the brand new razor blade potentially partly down to the velo skin so awesome shower time and then i'm going to use the post shave lube I want to know the real reason why no one wants the track World Cups moved from uh, the winter time to the summer time. Well, see that in the sky there? That? that? That's why. That's why. It's now half past three o'clock. It's three o'clock. It's roasting in my car. Um, and who wants to be sat in a track when it's this warm outside?
We are gonna have a debrief, but first I need to wash my kit for tomorrow because I need to get it dry because we're racing tomorrow afternoon. Um, so I brought, because I'm a smart boy, a tab, a little tab to um, to wash my to wash my kit, and I'm not gonna wash the chamois part of my of my skin suit because I'm worried that won't dry. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna wash the pits because I was sweating so bad. Crotch area, no one's really gonna pick up that sniff unless they they get down there and have a sniff, but you can walk past someone on Pier Pongi, so. Right, I don't know if this is genius or stupidity, but because it's been like 30 degrees, as soon as the sun hits this, this should dry them out. And my skin suit's there, look, so. Will it dry in time? Who knows? I kid you not. Right, let me tell you, let me debrief you and tell you um, and how it went. So, I can't remember. <laughs> I, I, can, I can only remember bits. So, just before we went out, I saw Alex, who's one of the guys who has been training um, at Derby. And I met him. I, actually, I've only met him once, but absolutely sound guy. Get on so well, like, straight away. Um, really fun guy. So, I saw him there. And I was like, dude, you're right. And he's like, I'm a little bit nervous. And I was surprised because he's, 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 you know, he's, he's a strong guy because I remember doing that SQT. Anyway, he said he was nervous. And I was like, do you know what? I'm not even nervous anymore. I've, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just ready to race. But what I was worried about the most was the fact that I'd not been in a, in a group situation, a, a race situation with a bunch of fast riders since 2016. And that one SQT that I did two weeks ago was the first time I've kind of sat in a line for, for, for three years going on. So I was a little bit worried that I was just going to be way out of my depth, get caught out by all sorts of moves, and, and, and before I knew it, I'd be getting lapped. Um, but the race started relatively steady. Um, no one really picking the pace up, no one really attacking at the start. And then Alex got on the front, and when he every time he got on the front, the pace just went... Vroom, and it would just like yo-yo backwards and forwards. He'd get on the front, pace would go. And I'm, I'm like yelling to him like, dude, easy. Mainly because I just didn't want to have to work so hard. But um, no one else was willing to do it. I think if he'd have got a couple of other riders to uh, to commit as much as he did, they could have strung it out and just and left everyone for dead. But thankfully, every time someone got, else got to the front, they were just peeling and peeling and peeling. Um, I did, I think I did half a lap on the front. That was the biggest, the biggest turn I did on the front. That every time I was just like straight off the front, straight off the front, because you know you've got to play to your, you got to play to your strengths. There's no point me sitting on the front trying to gain a lap, trying to break people. No point. I may as well try and keep it as condensed as possible to get to the sprint. Um, about twenty laps in, my inexperience nearly caught me out. Halfway through, came down a little bit too quick at the back, and the guy who I was just latching onto at the back, he just slowed up a little bit. So I'd undertake him, which is a which you shouldn't do, but I had nowhere else to go. So I started to go under and overlap his wheel. And the string's normally going up in the in the banking. So I'm thinking he's gonna go up, but all of a sudden he started to come down. And I was like, shit. And his back wheel hit my front wheel and he went. And you know normally when you see the riders they'll go oh, and, and lob it down. I thought just stay there and just just push yourself off. Like, go down the track, so then I'm down onto the blue and going around the, the, the turn on the blue, and I'm like, this is going to end up in disaster. But thankfully it didn't. Um, and then we carried on, carried on, carried on, got down to 20 laps, same again. Right, it's going to kick off any minute. Someone's going to get on the front, and then and then it's going to go. But then it didn't. 15 laps to go, people, everyone, I think everyone at that point realised that no one's willing to work. No one. It is a really negative form of racing, but perfect for me. 
no one's willing to work, no one's willing to push, everyone's up at the top of the track, which encouraged one or two just to have a, a couple of digs. Um, and I was, I mean, I'm not the most tactically aware person, especially when it comes to endurance rides, but I looked for Alex's wheel because I knew it was strong, and I picked up kind of two other guys who looked really strong. Um, every time someone went down, I'd shout, because I'm going to try and force somebody else to chase. So I'm like, go, go, go. They'd go down. I'd latch onto the back of them and they'd be like six or seven of us just smashing it at the front. And then everyone would ease up. Everyone back up to the top. Same as just a normal scratch race. Everyone up to the top. Someone would try and take the chance. But then with six to go, and I think this played into my hands perfectly, everyone moved up the track and then someone started to come down. But there was someone in his... I think it was Alex actually. He was in his way. So he came down as he was coming up. So he had to come out of his effort. And I was like, that's the move. That was the move. That He was going to go. And he was going to go hard then. And, and he kind of neshed it then and then went up the track and then waited for everybody else. And then with two laps to go, two laps to go Alex got on the front again. Um, no, three laps to go. He got on the front again and then um, strung it out. And then he pulled off. And with two laps to go, I think it was... Oh, God, is it... I think it's Gareth, his name is. Um, I've seen him at Derby a few times. He actually watches the video, so... More than that. Um, he just set off and he went and I didn't even see him go. I did not see him go, but thankfully he wasn't in, in, in my age category. So um, he went with two laps to go because what else are you going to do when you're on the front? And thankfully I was kind of third or fourth wheel behind. Came around with a lap to go, the bell went and I just went full gas, like round the bend. And then as we came into the back straight, I went up the track and then he went up the track. And my, again, my front wheel's like rubbing against him. I'm like... <laughs> And thankfully I got away from him, but it meant I had to go all the way up to the top of the track down the back straight. And then I'm just like blasting straight past him. I just went, boom, straight past him. Yum! Like a fucking rocket. And then I'm up on the top, but I'm like, I'm above the blue. And I'm like just smashing it now and everything's going everywhere like this. And I'm gaining on the guy who's leading. But who I thought was leading anyway. And I'm gaining and I'm gaining and I'm gaining. And then we straighten up and I'm gaining and I'm gaining and I'm gaining. And he just got me on the line. So I was like, damn, second, all right, second, second, I'll take that, I'll take that. And then I came round and I was absolutely wiped. I was, it's the hardest effort I've done in a long time, like full gas for nearly two, three laps. So I was gassed by the end of it and then um, came off the track, looked at the scoreboard, bloody third position. I'm looking up at my bloody third. All right, I still got the podium. That's still good. I'll take that. And then obviously I realised that the guy out front was uh, was in the age group below. Um, so in my age group, second. Had I not caught that wheel, had I accelerated a little bit quicker on the last lap, and had I not gone and pushed myself all the way up to the top of the track, I probably would have bloody won it. But hey, you know the saying. If your uncle had a fanny, he'd be your aunt, so... What are you going to do about it, Pritch? Tomorrow morning is points race. You're not going to see that because this video is coming out. If you have enjoyed this, if you just want to give me some love for winning something for once, I actually fucking won something for once, then leave a comment down below. Um, leave a like. Just smash that like button just for this one, please. Subscribe if you're not done already. Hit that notification button. I'm going to go to bed now because we've got points in the morning. And I might... I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to say it. I just... I've done what I needed to do. Whatever happens in the points race... It's fine. I don't need to do any more. I've, 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 I've achieved.